What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here and we finally have Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 1. They finally came out, just watched it, so we're going to talk about it today. We're going to get into some spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out and then come back and watch this video so we can chat about it. Let's get on to this video. So Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 1 definitely kicks off right off the bat in a pretty action-packed way. We end up with the climax of one of Rick and Morty's classic missions. They're on a ship and they're like basically flying through space and Rick is like practically dying, bleeding out and Morty's flying the ship and he basically teleports through a portal and gets them into Earth's atmosphere and as they're like crash landing into the atmosphere it's just really funny like I love this part Morty ends up calling Jessica and he calls up Jessica and has like this touching moment of he's definitely feeling like he's about to die so he's like telling her like I know we didn't get a lot of time Jessica and like going into this huge speech about how he like you know wishes that he would have asked her out sooner it's just really amazing stuff and then like she says that she agrees to a date and it's like Morty actually has something to live for and you just see the emotion change in his face and it's just really hilarious that he like is like oh no I'm gonna freaking land this ship now he ends up landing the ship and we finally get the ship landed but it ends up landing on earth but in the ocean and for some reason Rick gets really pissed off about that and then we end up meeting his arch nemesis who actually which is a cool little tidbit like I love seeing little tidbits of Rick's like kind of backstory in his life from back in the day before the family and all that kind of stuff. So it's just really funny when you meet his arch nemesis, Mr. Nimbus, and he's basically kind of like a play on like Namor and all that kind of stuff. He has like the same design, has like an N on his belt and all that kind of stuff. Very interesting, weird character, side character for sure. I hope Mr. Nimbus ends up showing up in some later seasons or other episodes because he was really hilarious for sure. And then because they land in the ocean, they basically Rick broke the treaty. So now he has to invite Mr. Nimbus over so they can talk and have a dinner. And he invites him over so they can re-talk the treaty. But basically all Morty wants to do with this evening is have his date with Jessica and enjoy it for the first time. So it's really got this cool dynamic between Rick and Morty because Rick just wants to end this day, this night, and like get this treaty done with Mr. Nimbus. And then you know Morty's trying to have this date with Jessica and finally land his kiss that he's always wanted or become like her boyfriend so it's like really got a lot of cool aspects you know summer's kind of in it on the side she's not a prominent character her side mission is basically off screen rick sends her on a side mission for you know for him so we don't really get to see a lot of her stuff you know morty's dad and his mom come into the whole aspect again because they basically are hit on by mr nimbus so like it's just really hilarious they got a lot of cool like side jokes and i think this good this first episode did a real good job of kind of just returning to the old style of Rick and Morty not tying into the other ones as much you know what I mean carrying on a storyline it's just a nice cool side small storyline that's in <clears throat> you know to start off the new season and also we have another coinciding storyline that Morty has where he's trying to uh, Rick tells him to age this wine so they teleport it through, through this dimensional portal to keep the wine over there because it's kind of like like they say in the show a Narnia thing so on the other side of the portal time moves a lot faster than it does on our side of the portal and that's how they age the wine but every time Morty goes back like he's trying to get the wine for Mr. Nimbus but then also he has to get the wine for Jessica because she asks him for some wine too so it's got this really cool play and every time he goes through the portal he meets these people but every time it's like the generations have passed and passed because time moves faster in that world and like Morty influences completely how these people end up growing up from like this old fashioned society to basically this futuristic crazy society that views Morty as an evil Satan type god and they want to kill him it's really amazing like the show had a lot of cool aspects to it and i'm happy that it kicked it off for season five thanks for sticking around with me guys i hope you enjoyed this review and spoiler chat for season five episode one of rick and morty i'm going to be doing the rest of them as they come out so next week i'm going to shoot that one i'm going to give it a couple days that way you know some people can watch them and everything because i want to talk spoilers and all that kind of stuff and all the episodes and everything so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't yet drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all 
all the content that I put out. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.